Yesterday's video was a little too long, apparently. Um, then again, I was told that it just fails. But today I'm a little bit more rested. I can talk a little bit more louder. So we're going to go ahead and teach you the very basics on understanding for honor before you actually get into it. Uh, the first thing you want to know is each character is unique. There's the vanguards, assassins, and the hybrids, if I'm not mistaken. That's all of them. And the heavies. And then they have the difficulties right next to it easy medium and then hard that's like the difficulty curve according to the developers and right underneath it it says adaptable straightforward and you know fast counter attacker it tells you their specialty like for example i main this guy for now his specialties is a disabler and harasser so that can mean a multi multiple things um mainly he's a harasser of stamina but we'll get into that to another time. Right now, what, what you need to understand is after you understand that each one is unique and you kind of have an idea which one you want to play, once you pick that person, they're going to have um, these perks on the right-hand side. There's a whole list of them. There's the offense perks, defense, and assist perks, and then also about the perks. It tells you what I'm about to tell you right now, which, you know, you need 600 points in one single perk in order to activate it. These are Gormanger's perks. Um, I went for the shields <clears throat> because he's a shield build. So uh, that's why I went for these three shields. And it looks like that after, you're, uh, after it's all said and done. I typically want to have one for each class because each setup I meant, sorry. Because you get three loadouts once you hit prestige one which is level 21 <clears throat> on a single character. And you'll get the little feathers around the number and everything. That's how you know your prestige. Once you hit prestige, you're allowed to have three loadouts. Loadout 1, loadout 2, and loadout 3. I already have two of them already basically done. All I have to do now is max out their armor, but that's later on. Um, to do this, typically you'll start off with default perks. I mean default gear which is fine because if you have all your default gear on it'll push you well over the number that you need to activate the first perk <clears throat> as you can see right there on the left hand right hand side the list of perks right there is 900 out of 600 that is basically giving you at least 300 more points free to mess around with and change your character without taking away that perk so, for example, if you want to change the head of your hammer, you can do that. And, see, it'll even give you points to another perk, like 260 out of 600. That's fine. It took away some for my 900, and I still have 8 to 10 out of 600. That's still plenty to activate the perk. And, as you can tell, I'm working on my second perk already on that end. <clears throat> so, with that same mentality... I want to try to go for a different build that's not the same as these. So with that in mind, I want the last gray one, first blue one, and the first purple one. When I say first, it's the only one. Last gray one, only blue and only purple. It don't show the colors right here, but if you look past the image, there's a color ba banner behind it. Those are the ones I want. Last gray, first blue, last purple, first purple. Which is Bastion, Vengeful Barrier, and Last Stand. Why do I want these perks? Uh, the Bastion gives you 10% damage resistance when you're in a zone. <clears throat> and that's a zone that's not with the minions. Because the minions kind of like differ depending on what map you play. Um... I like to pair that with last stand, so whenever my health starts to flash, that's when it that's when it lets you know that you're in critical health. That's when this perk, last stand, procs. 40% damage resistance on top of the 10% damage resistance is 50% damage resistance, which is <laughs> amazing. And typically you're going to be getting in fights, especially if you play Dominion with more than one player. And when that happens, you, um, <clears throat> well, if you're good at guarding, that will... Um, proc your um, revenge when your revenge procs it's usually when you have a, a very 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 small amount of health 
Well, the Vengeful Barrier gives you one more free hit, I like to call it, of worth of a shield after you get out of revenge. So once you pop revenge, you turn all yellow, do all your crazy stuff. As soon as revenge ends, you have a little baby uh, uh, revenge barrier left. That is enough to take one hit. One normal heavy hit, one normal light hit. But not a charged heavy, not an unblockable heavy. That'll eat through your barrier and your health in one swing. So be mindful of that. It's just like a last... For me, it's like a last resort type thing. Like, I'm already low on health. Uh, they're eating through my damage resistance. So I have Vengeful Barrier. It helps me get back on my feet. And it, it helps a lot, too. Because people tend to read your revenge and they start to attack. Especially on a... 1v1 basis, for example, two of them attack you, you turn on revenge, <clears throat> manage to kill one of them, but the other one waits you out. He's like, I'm going to wait till your revenge meter goes away, and then I'm going to attack you. That's his thought. As soon as your revenge meter goes away, he, he throws an attack. It lands, but instead of killing you, your vengeful barrier eats the hit, and your character is ready. Like Sometimes they just run away because they're like, there's another battle going on right next to them, so they immediately unlock off of you and then try to go somewhere else and realize holy I didn't kill this guy so it works out in a mul multiple ways it's, but you can have whatever you want like on these um, on these other ones like this one like I said I this one's my full shield build it has all the shield perks Agus you know when any shield that you get whether it be from your perks or your character it doesn't matter it's 20% more and then shields up when revived, rece receive a temporary 25 health shield. And Vengeful Barrier, we just finished explaining that one. 25 health shield upon exiting revenge. And that is also boosted by Aegis. Um, so it's pretty uh, pretty amazing. And sometimes I'm, when you have a, like a Black Prior on your team, it's good. Because the Black Prior has this ability to like give shields. Um, last time that happened to me, I had just popped Vengeful Barrier, so I had a little baby shield, and then the Black Prior came around and popped that perk, and then next thing you know, my I almost had a full health bar of shields. It's almost like I popped a second revenge. It's really amazing how these perks come in handy sometimes. And that's when it happens when you run into people who are like level 200 something, level 90, level 60, and they only have like one perk on their rep 16 character. Like, it's just, it's funny to me. Because that's how you can outbeat them when it comes to uh, perk battles. Um, yeah, they may be better than you, but if you out perk them and you just play at least de half decent, your perks will, will, will carry you. That's what I call cr crutch perks. Um, don't get used to this though. It's more of a learning learning pattern, if anything, like training wheels, if you should say. You want to go for something else eventually, but. For the most part, no one really cares about that. Just go for the win, play, have fun, but just know that these perks are out there. They aren't active during duels or uh, 1v1s, if I'm not mistaken, brawls, 2v's. It's not active during that, but uh, Breach and Dominion, these perks are active. And see, this is my other one I have. It's the first three ones, first three gray ones, uh, which is basically my two shields and the Bastion. So two shields, uh, one one I revive, and then when I revive I get that 20%, and any shield I get, including my revenge, is also 20%. Um, and then that 10% damage resistance when I'm in an area like A or C, sometimes B, depending on the map. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Any character you play, that's any character. And like I said, if this is like what the character would look like if it's brand new. If you have all the default gear on, you will have the first perk for free. Any character. And you, no matter what, even if you have all this fancy stuff like on all three of your loadouts, it's fine. At least run with one perk. Never go online without a perk. Like, let's say you have something like this. Let's just say this is my back burner. Like, I have him on the back burner. He looks cool. Well, not really. He looks exactly the same. Um... Let's just say he looks a little bit like a little bit better. He looks scary, but he has no perks. I have him on the back burner. You know, I just I'm working on him. He's not ready to be on the battlefield yet. Until he like kind of looks like 
you know, like a bunch of perks, then he's ready. I'll use the default gear, which literally looks the same. Like, that's what I do. It's kind of hard to explain because my tactic in playing is to um, look like a normal character, but actually have three perks, which is what this guy is. Okay, so for example, boom, that's a brand new character. That's a brand new character. And if I have a good example on here. Yep, see? Okay, that's my character that has one perk. <clears throat> and he looks half decent. And this is the default character. Let's just say, for example, I have, I'm have i working on three perks with this guy. I can use him because he is 41 perk, but I still have him on the back burner because I want three perks on this character. So until then, I'll use my default. Because no matter what, I can have all this extra, extra gear. And it'll even, even tell you. See, like, has a little helmet with a letter one next to it. Number one, sorry. Um, th that lets you know, you know, uh, loadout one, loadout two. See, loadout two and loadout three are still on default. Loadout one, you know, you c it, it's self-explanatory. That's pretty cool. Um, but the point I was trying to make is you can have all this neat stuff, different builds, and still have your default for any reason that you that you need to like just throw a perk on real quick uh, note that you can't change your armor or anything like this what I'm doing during a game or uh, before a game <clears throat> like once you find the game but while you're searching for a game yes like sometimes it does take a while and you sometimes you find yourself like getting lost in your your build and then you find a game and it kicks you out of the screen like that so just be wary of that it'll kick you out of your screen so but you can go immediately right back into what you're doing for like five seconds depending on like how fast the game finds the game for you which is usually pretty fast like not even kidding like especially on dominion but that's gonna be it for the perk side of it <clears throat> uh, I'll move on real quick to the next topic which would be understanding that when you play a match you get loot and that loot is random and depending on what piece of loot you get is depend is uh, res is what you get <laughs> sorry it's hard, kinda hard to English right now but depending on what the loot decides to give you is what you get like for example I got these two helmets I mean the uh, heads and they both have different perks this one has Aegis and shields up this one also has Aegis but last stand and that's how you can kinda work with um, getting your perks activated on any other character it works the same way I just have a lot more gear on this character because I play them and that's another thing if you don't like the way a character looks it's completely fine don't worry about it like not only just like there's characters out there like I said they rep 70 and they look all badass but they have no perks don't be one of those people let your character look like this for a while and then eventually it'll look like this get your perks first and why I stress that is because let's say just for example let's say I start trying to get my perks whatever I just throw on some random pieces of gear just so you have an understanding see it, it's everywhere right now that's not what you want you don't want many bars you want at least three bars four at the most because the fourth one you're trying to dwindle down into the three bars you don't want it to look like that but let's just say for example it's something that you want whatever and but you don't like the way his face looks <clears throat> like let, let's just say for example you chose him because you chose this face because of the perks the perk stats really matter so it, you need this face for the perks so that way you get your three perks or whatever or whatever you're trying to get but you don't like the way it looks that's fine I play on PlayStation all you gotta do is press X on PlayStation and this little screen pops up go down to change look and it gives you a list of every, anything that you're allowed to change it to at that moment. It may not be a lot for you as soon as you check this out. Like, you might, oh, crap, I didn't know about that. Let me go check it out. <laughs> it may only be, like, three things allowed to you and then the rest locked. It's going to do that. And trust me, there's a lot more than this. Like, every character has, like, a, a very thin line over there on the right-hand side where it gets pretty small and... You'll be there forever, like scrolling, looking at all the different types and variants that they have. You just have to unlock them. They don't just—they sh don't show them to you right out the back. 
you have to like just work your way and eventually you'll find that you have more and more and more that you can change it to like this is the one I want everybody wants this one I want that one I don't know why it's you know Cubone <laughs> but yeah you can do that with anything you don't like the way the hammer looks same thing press X bring up this little screen change look <sighs> sorry find your perks first build your character first then worry about the looks all of this will come to you in due time another tip that I like to have to give to people is whenever you have low gear <coughs> like for example I saw gear on this character okay all this brown all this gray stuff like in the background is kind of gray you know it's gray 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 and then look there's that blue one you want to get rid of you know gray you don't want gray you don't want to get you don't want to get too attached to gray because it'll easily get outclassed by the different colors blue purple gold and then finally the legendary at the very bottom don't get attached to the gear that you have you're gonna get better gear so much better and then if you look at the gear on this one there's only one perk one perk see how this one has two perks remedy bastion and over here this one only has one perk vengeful barrier right underneath it says Crowley axe the number seven the blue name underneath vengeful barrier and right over here Re revelin shaft underneath that remedy and bastion there's two perks you don't want you especially don't want gear that only has one perk unless it's a higher rarity like this blue one this blue one one perk is a higher rarity even than this staff with two perks because it's blue just keep that in mind don't get used to your gear that you already have just get rid of it you're gonna get better gear what I like to do is get 60 out of 60 which is at the very bottom left it says Lawbringer, and right next to it says 9 out of 60 you wanna max that out 60 out of 60 and then go into this and sift through it pick out the gear that you need specifically because of the perks that they have and apply them to your character and you'll start seeing the bar slowly start inching towards the right side and that's what you want you want the bar to reach the right side and that's how you activate the perk <clears throat> you can only have three perks at a time and don't go crazy and try to get the three best perks and more than likely you will not be able to you have to split them up a little bit like two grays one blue one gray one blue one purple one gray one blue one gold so forth so on you can't have blue gold and legendary you can't do that like it just won't let you <clears throat> so don't do what I did and spent the last five years trying to build something because on my other account my not my other account my other system I should say I have multiple systems on my Xbox bro I spent like five years trying to build something on Shigoki and come to find out it's not even possible it's literally impossible to do the build I was trying to build so keep that in mind look it up if you have to consult reddit I know it's yeah, <laughs> forgive me for saying consult reddit but you want to do that they know what they're talking about go check in make sure you're doing the right thing because if not bro you're gonna be in, in one hell of a position where you wasted all your little chests on the top left corner which is another thing don't waste your chest until you're at least rep seven or eight because that guarantees legendary loot you don't want to open the chest because it's just gonna give you loot based on your level that you're trying to open the chest for so don't open the chest I repeat do not open the chest until your character is at least rep seven or eight and that means the, the little number right next to lawbringer has a one with the feathers so no I cannot open a chest for this character for this character over here yes all day all day long rep 10 all day long I can open chests all day long with this character because it will guarantee the best drop loot rate Ugh, it'll, you know what I mean it'll guarantee the best stuff you don't want to get gray stuff out of a box no that's not what the boxes are for save the boxes for your best characters and if you really want to get gear for a character that's not a level of whatever you just want to look cool you don't care about perks okay fine go to scavenge gear don't use the box I don't care that you don't wanna you don't care about perks when you do care about perks you'll thank me 
uh, just save the boxes and go ahead and buy specifically what you want. You can get a basic, which is a little bit random. You can either get all pieces of armor, all pieces of weapons, or one in one, it don't matter. It's random as hell, the cheapest one. Um, armor pack, same thing, but just with armor. And weapon pack, same thing, but just with weapons. I like to buy this one because sometimes you need a, a specific piece of uh, gear to drop a specific piece of um, perk and you can't get that perk drop or gear drop for say for example the pommel on my shigoki i no matter what how many how many games i played and how many times i 60 out of 60 in my gear i would not get a pommel drop ever so i would have to come here and it, i'll get it randomly out of, out of a premium pack which is the box which i don't want to do that because it's just like what the hell so i started buying the weapon pack which guarantees a pommel so just keep that in mind if you need a specific piece of gear and it's not dropping um go ahead and specifically buy that gear set random drop whatever you want to call it it's scavenge the gear scavenge the gear in the armor pack or scavenge the gear in weapon pack that's how you build your character but honestly i just like to have fun and go online with the low level character on my playstation there was a pattern as i don't know if you could tell i would stop at like 19 or 20 because on playstation i would never play for honor it was on the xbox but then i started playing on playstation i kept all my characters really really low so i could stay in a low lobby which is i noticed it was i know it's a bad thing to say but i i didn't like it either so that's why i started just repping my characters so i was like i don't care anymore i'm gonna start repping them i want to play them again because for a long time i started like I stopped, I ran out of characters to play. Every character was like about to rep. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, this guy was 19 for the longest time. This guy was 19. Orochi was 20. Because you got to be 21 to rep. But, yeah, just, just have fun. Pick the character that you want. Go experiment with them. If, um,. If you're getting absolutely slaughtered, then you're probably picking an assassin, which you got to wake up the guard, but we'll get more in into detail with that in another video, but pick your character for now. Find your character. That's, that's, the, that's the main deal, main goal of the game, is to find your character. Find what makes you tick. Find your poison and stick with it until you get used to the mechanics of the game and how it works and just, yeah. Well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and log this one off because the last video was too long, and hopefully this one is not as long.